lovelies and welcome back to another video. I feel like it's been so long, actually, I mean, it has been so long since I've sat down and done a video here at my, with my backdrop, just in my lounge. Thought it was fitting to do a sort of Christmas haul, Christmas gifts ideas that you can get for friends, family, boyfriend, girlfriend, all of the above. I bought some bits and bobs for myself, which are a mixture between Christmassy stuff and things which I think, even though I've got them for myself, could be a good idea for like, for example, if there's a guy watching it that wants to buy like a gift for um, their girlfriend or their sister, mum, something like that and also gifts that I've bought mainly for Luke because I'm doing him um, a little something something for Christmas. I assume he's not going to be watching this video but if he is for some reason then don't watch this video. There is a few other things I've bought for other people so along the way if they are going to be watching I'm not too sure I will say look you can just just skip ahead 20 seconds so um, we'll see if and when we get there if you are watching we shall see but like I said the gifts that I've got Luke and other people um, so far are I think are like really really exciting they're really cute they're good for like stocking fillers that kind of thing so um, yeah if you're interested to see what ideas you can get for Christmas keep watching Right, okay, we're gonna start off with Poundland. Poundland is one of my favorite shops. There's always really good bargains and really cool stuff in there. First thing I got is this little Santa Christmas mug, which is so cute. I think this was two pound, so two pound for a mug. I mean, absolute bargain. Later on, you'll see that I've bought lots of like hot chocolate little bits and stuff, marshmallows and things for me and Luke to have. I really wanna do lots of Christmassy stuff this year because to be honest, I don't tend to do a lot of Christmas stuff. Like I love Christmas. I love all, all the, like the sort of like festive things around it, but we just, I just don't really do much, so I thought, yeah, I'm gonna get him a Christmas mug to go along with the hot chocolate and stuff. I also got Luke two little chocolate um, lollies. I absolutely love this sort of stuff. I remember when I was younger, I really, really wanted this sort of stuff in my stocking like all the time. So I got my little white chocolate snowman and a milk chocolate Santa Claus. Very, very cute. I got him some more chocolate. So I got him um, a very festive snowball Cadbury's bar. And then I got him some Kit Kat Santas. Are they Santas? Yeah, Kit Kat Santas. Next, I got these, which look really, really interesting, actually. So these are wine glass charms. So I thought, like, you know, there's always someone who I buy, like, a bottle of wine or a bottle of rum, something like that for. And I, I usually put it in a nice Christmas festive bag, and which I will do as well. But when they take it out, they'll have one of these little decors around the top of the bottle. Does that makes sense? Hopefully you can envision what I mean. But there's loads of different cool little charms so you've got santa snowman penguin polar bear and rudolph i just thought they're so cute it's just a nice little touch considering they're like a pound for five do you know what i mean oh more chocolate i got some chocolate coins because you can't go wrong with chocolate coins right and then for myself i actually bought um the shampoo and conditioner so i haven't actually seen these in the shops maybe they've been in shops like this whole time this brand um but maybe i just haven't seen it but when i saw these i was like I've never tried this brand before and apparently they're really, really good. Um, so I thought I'll buy these and let you know because I think this is quite a good sort of like stocking filler if you're doing one for like a girl or to be honest, a guy as well. They might enjoy this sort of stuff as well. But yeah, I don't know. It looks really cute and colorful as well. Next, we are moving on to Flying Tiger. I absolutely adore this shop, actually. I just... I, I, to be honest like sometimes I just don't buy anything but I just like looking around because there's like the weirdest wildest coolest funkiest stuff in there so the first thing I got was another mug but this time this one is for myself because I want not matching but like I want Christmas mugs with Luke so then when we have the hot chocolates that we both got a Christmas mug so I went for a little gingerbread man cute and then as I mentioned hot chocolate stuff I've got the milk chocolate snowman thing in here is just really cute so this is like a bomb so you just pop it in there the hot milk and then it melts and turns into to hot chocolate and then these which I thought again adorable and so you get five lots of um, snowman marshmallows so again we can use these and pop them on top and then lastly I didn't get too much this is so random and I feel like this is only really gonna be beneficial if you need this specific thing for something um, but I actually do so this is one of these like director cuts 
action take two kind of moment and um, I'm not really gonna go too into it but I've got just an idea of like a like a birthday thing that I want to do for Luke or to be honest it could work for um, anything Christmas or whatever at some point next year year after whenever I've got this like idea there's no point in me explaining it because it doesn't really make sense for like other people but yeah so this is just a little like decorative thing that I got to go with that when I eventually decide to do it but hey ho just in case anyone needs something like this they've got them in Flying Tiger okay guys I feel like this was my favourite shop so far that I've done for Christmas. Of course, Primoche, Primani, however you want to say it, we have got the goods here. So first things first, wrapping paper. So the first lot of wrapping paper, I'm really just into like brown wrapping paper, but just with like a little detailed moment, just obviously, so it is Christmas. So we've got like, the nutcracker, little Christmas trees. Of course, this is just gonna look absolutely amazing. And then my favorite Christmas film is The Grinch, which you're definitely be gonna be able to tell in the next sort of like, 30 seconds here. I've got the Grinch wrapping paper. I thought even like um, a mixture between this and the brown wrapping paper together is gonna look really, really nice because it's just such like traditional colors as well. Like there is no like random, like I'm gonna mix with like pinks with traditional. Now I'm going, you know, green, red, gold, that kind of vibe. Guys, 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 guys. If you're that couple, likes to be matching, Primark is the place to be. So Primark has lots of different um, designs of pajamas. So you can get, you know, you don't have to get this design. They do lots of different ones as well. But I recommend getting there ASAP because I did this last year and I went too late and they just didn't have the right sizes. They didn't have much of a variety. So I've gone there early and I've got matching PJs with Luke. To be fair, Luke's not really like, yeah, sure. Like he's doing it because I want to do it. Bless him. He's like, yeah, okay, we'll go for matching. But really he's, he's yeah. He's doing it for me, which is, is very sweet. So I thought, well, at least that I can do it is actually buy them. So let's actually look at them. So this is the top. The top just has the Grinch on it, long sleeves, and then the trousers. I'll show you these a little bit better. And they cuff at the bottom as well. So yes, yeah, so I've got Luke here at the men's ones, and then exactly the same little petite women's ones. And I'm like, Whoa! I can't wait. But it doesn't stop there because along with matching pajamas, I've got matching socks. <laughs> I feel like he's gonna look at me like, oh, for goodness sake, Char, like, what are you doing? But secretly, when he has it on, he's gonna be like, with his hot chocolate as well, he's gonna be loving life, let's be honest. Like, he, he secretly, deep down, loves it. So, yeah, so these are the matching Grinch socks. And then my dad got a pair, actually, of these uh, little gingerbread men socks. And you get two. And these, yeah, they're super soft and they look super cute. I just love Christmas so much. Next, I got another pair of pajama bottoms for myself because, I mean, I go, through, I swear I go through pajama bottoms like anything. Like, I just don't know what it is. Leggings, pajama bottoms, tell me if you're the same, but I just go through them like anything. But this time I just decided to go for some Christmassy ones because I was in the festive spirit when I was going shopping. Um, of course they're Disney and they've got Pluto, Mickey and Donald all over them. I think that is it. I don't think Goofy's on there, which is strange, but yeah. Oh, I just, they're so soft as well. They're super soft. Like I can't even describe it to you. I feel like I'm just gonna be wearing these. I just, I, oh, now I need like a Christmas dressing gown, I feel like. <laughs> So in the homeware section, they've got lots of really cute little bits. I just decided to go for this little number. How simple but effective is that? It's just really, really beautiful. Really, like I said, sophisticated and simple. But I just feel like I'm going to put this on my dresser and I'm going to put a candle in it. So it's going to be like a candle holder. It doesn't actually specify what it's for, though I assume it is a candle holder. Though you could put anything in it. Technically, I could use this for like my makeup brushes or anything, really. Um, I could fill this up with chocolate coins, chocolate balls, like anything like that whatever you want to do with it but I'm, thinking, I'm going to use it for a candle what amazing is this okay now we're going to move on to little bits and bobs that i think would be good is if you're doing like a stock and filler for someone so i have bought some lashes these are the little edge flutter ones which are my favorite lashes in the world i absolutely love them and they are a pound and like if you're just stuck to buy like your your partner your sister mum, or whatever like little bits and bobs that they kind of like want you can always just buy these these little bits because they are cheap but they are effective and they are really really good i don't think because they're cheap that they're not good because they are i bought a little pack of nail glue i have opened one of them and this is the other one nothing too exciting but just thought i'll pop that in there as well I finally got my hands on the foundation and contour stick uh, this is in shade chai I feel like this has been sold out like everywhere and I've never actually used it. And finally, I mean, I went to go in to find my foundation. My foundation was out of stock, but this was in stock. So I thought, well, I mean, you can't have a both, right? So yes, yeah, so I've bought this to try it out. So we shall see in another video whether it's good or not. I've got a, I think it's like a 
kabuki brush i might be pronouncing that wrong so apologies if i am i actually got um one already and it's like the firmest brush in existence yet i absolutely adore it i absolutely love how firm it is which is really strange because a lot of people like really really soft brushes but with this specific thing that i use it for i absolutely love it but it is just it's been worn and torn the wear and tear on it like I feel like I need to throw it away now so I decided to buy this one even though I can tell like it's going to be super soft I'm just going to give it a go and just see if I can work with it so that's why I decided to get this one I of course can go into Primark and either not get a pair of nails and a face mask so I went and got this um what is it ginger no turmeric sheet mask and then I got these which match sort of like the aesthetic vibe I am on right now. I've been just been wearing sort of like browns, neutrals, beiges for like the longest time. So I can't wait to try on these nails. And then lastly, you can't go wrong with a pack of face wipes. And uh, these ones are the vitamin C ones. Um, I feel like these are great for like a stock and filler because everyone needs face wipes. Like everyone just uses them. So I mean, you just can't go wrong. Okay, what's next? Who have we got? TK Maxx. TK Maxx, I didn't get as much as I thought I would, but I got some really, really cool stuff. Mama Jackson, if you're watching this, you need to you need to skip ahead. Uh, skip ahead 30 seconds. P pause it and skip ahead. <laughs> I got Mama Jackson and Papa Jackson a little pop-up card. Um, actually, that's not what it looks like. I think that, I want to say, I don't know what that is, because that's not what it looks like. Um, this is what it looks like, and it has a little golden retriever, because they um, they used to have a golden retriever, um, but um, yeah, she passed away. So I thought this was sort of like a really, really adorable card for them. So if you got to this point, you can carry on watching now. We, we, we've gone past that a little bit. I know she watches my videos, so I just thought, well, I'll let her know, so it's still a surprise. Okay, and the next thing that I got, how cool are these? Obviously, these are tags to put on your presents or whatever you want to do, but they look very old school and i love this vibe again this goes well with the wrapping paper sort of like the brown vibe i was gonna say a little bit pricey but you do get a lot in there to be fair so actually it's probably not too pricey for what you get but like i don't typically spend that much on this sort of stuff maybe like one two pounds but i just couldn't say no to these and then next i got some more hot chocolate so i read i got the hot chocolate bomb for luke but then when i went to tk maxx i saw this and i was like oh this like matches the pajamas and it just looks really cute and there was one left i think that I could find anyway okay, i'm just gonna have to get some more so <laughs> i got him um some more hot chocolate which yeah it just comes in a really cute packaging and then for myself but again a really cool christmas idea i got myself a new candle i've got so many candles now it's ridiculous because um <laughs> i've just seen millie as well um for my birthday and she's got me a candle so i've got so many I've got my halloween ones to get through but the reason why i had to pick this one up is because this is the brand that has the candles that crackle so it sounds like there's a little fire going in your room beautiful darling beautiful yeah it smells absolutely divine um i just can't wait to give this a go and just hear the little crackles this brand um woodwork i think is that what they're called sorry wood woodwork <laughs> woodwick um there is probably other brands that do it but these are the only ones that i've seen in the shops that do it so if you see this brand it will say it on the top there whether it crackles or not so definitely pick up if that's your type of vibe but it just really relax relaxes me in the evening i love the sound of like crackling and i love the sound of rain on the windows that kind of vibe so that's all i got from tk max okay so again mama jackson you're gonna have to skip just skip three four minutes because <laughs> there's like a few things that i've got for your presents and yeah i don't want you to see so just just skip ahead skip ahead so guys so i went into this like little um independent store I believe it's called craftability if i'm pronouncing that correctly and the first thing i got was um which is not too exciting but i got double-sided sticky tape this is like a hidden gem i can't find this anywhere at the moment it's super expensive <laughs> um i feel like i need to just order like a massive pack online with like loads in there but yeah in the stores it's like non-existent you can't find it anymore so that's why i picked up this for like when i uh, do diy stuff and then i got mama jackson some little roses so basically she's into like diy and stuff like that she makes her own cards she's absolutely amazing at doing this so i thought i'd make like a little hamper so i've got little bits and bobs for her and then i went into the works and also got her little reindeers to stick on um cards or anything that she makes and little wooden owls i just thought they're all super super cute so this is um yeah obviously i'm gonna get lots of other little bits and make like a hamper for her but yeah i'm not gonna I'm not going to talk too much, so um, hopefully she skipped this bit. 
and maybe she'll watch it like what well, once I've given her presents like she can watch it back okay boots guys we are at boots and I got Luke some iced cranberry ketchup which I think well it sounds divine sounds so tasty and I'm thinking because he likes to make like cranberry and brie sandwiches and stuff like that so I thought he could use a little bit of this and add it in and make it all like festive and stuff. Um, yeah, so I got that one. I'm really, really excited actually because I really want to try it. And then I got him because I want to like, I want to get lots of different bits and bobs. I don't just want to, even though we're such foodies and I've got him a lot of food stuff, I don't just want it to be all food. So I also got him a beard shampoo and conditioner. He has the luscious beard and he needs men need to take care of themselves as well you know have a bit of skincare beard care that sort of stuff so hopefully um he'll actually like this and use it we shall see the next thing is completely random um i don't i was even thinking like what's the even point of putting it in this haul but you know what maybe there's like the odd person that really actually really really wants this so i went to holland and barrett and got some uh milled flax seeds this is really really good for you and i'm going to be starting putting this in like smoothies overnight oats and stuff like this um and this is the, actually the last one left apparently they're going out really really quickly out of stock but just in case this is i don't know maybe people who are into nutrition go to the gym uh, people who just like to eat healthy and stuff like that maybe this could be a good present for someone i don't know anyway let's move on so i popped into jd i really want to get luke like for a main present get him like a really nice top or tracky set or something like that i couldn't really find anything that i was really vibing with um but i came across this which is a north face little um bum bag situation he bought one from primark actually before we went to scandinavia and it broke oh it was so devastating um he doesn't really use it for so much like it's quite small um but i know he like loves his brand so i think that he'll really really like it and to be honest like he just used it mainly to put like his glasses in there or like anything for the day like obviously we wear our backpacks but like when we would take when we dropped them off at the hostels we just used like a little bag each just in case we needed to like take anything out for the day so i thought this is perfect since his one is broke and of course we are going to go traveling again um in january so not gonna tell you guys where it's gonna be a surprise so that's that's why i bought this and then i got myself just a pair of course of adidas leggings i go through these again as i mentioned earlier leggings like anything i've just had to throw away yes throw away because they are ripped to pieces um four i think four pairs of leggings and including this pair like i love these adidas leggings but they just don't last very long for me anyway uh, but i love them so much so i had to get another pair so that is jd and then really randomly i got one product from wilco um it has a little crack in it actually but this is the last one left and um, this is the body collection translucent pressed powder i just heard from uh oh, i can't remember who it was now i heard from a youtuber that this actually is pretty good from wilco super cheap two pound ten so i thought you know what i'm just gonna try it out because i'm trying out different powders at the moment because I really want to change up my makeup routine a little bit. Again, I just thought if um, you're buying for someone who's really into makeup, maybe give this a go. Okay, guys, we made it this far. Well done, because we have two shops left. B&M, of course, had to be done right. I am also going to be taking a walk sometime this week down to the range. Do I have to do another haul? Probably, let's be honest. But anyway, okay, B&M. So I got Luke a Rockstar. This is the blueberry flavour. This is one of his favourite flavours. Um, of course, I had to get it. And um, I got him a gingerbread man mix and cutter cutter yeah cutter kit uh, because i asked him if he really wanted to make sort of like christmas cookies or biscuits or something like that this year and he's of course up for it so i thought i'd buy us this little number which i think would be really really cute because then like it's all in there and hopefully it works i've actually never baked before never so it's gonna be really, really exciting i'm excited to do it uh, my first time for christmas as well and then lastly i got nutella biscuits so <laughs> I've heard, I've never had tried these, never, but so many people are raving about them. Now, I never, I don't think they look good. I actually think they look really dry and there's not going to be much chocolate in them, but I am prepared to be um, blown away by them and my mind changed. So I thought, well, I'll buy them for Luke and then I can nibble on them. That's the last place I went to, Lush. So I've got two little things for myself. Definitely a place to get presents right. I mean, anything in there is a gift is a present because the stuff in there is absolutely amazing so the first thing i got was because i'm not getting snow fairy spray this year believe it or not i decided to go for something else i decided to get the snow fairy candle now it's quite funny because millie got me this exact candle for my birthday so i have two of these candles and then i just bought the one from tk maxx as well and i've got halloween candles like 
it's just it's, it's candle city in my room at the moment like lisa smells nice um but yeah so this smells divine it's exactly like the spray and the said of getting the snow fairy spray this year but this one i wanted to just change up a little bit so we've got honey i washed the kids and it's a tempting honey toffee fragrance with a citrus twist of brazilian orange oil i will spray it now oh my gosh yeah first of all i love that they come in like these little bottles i absolutely love it i don't know just aesthetically i love it I lo absolutely yeah hands down but the smell mm, gorgeous divine it literally just smells like it's like honey and orange that's what it smells like so if you like that vibe i recommend this and get it for someone i was thinking i've said this on another video that this is 20 pounds and originally i thought that's quite expensive but when you buy like perfumes and things like that they are way over 20 pounds and this lasts me like my snow fairy one i think i've probably got like two sprays left in it and i got it for my birthday last year and of course it is my birthday and it like a week week and a half so it's lasted a whole year these last a long time so go 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 down to lush right my lovelies that is it for this video i really hope you enjoyed and it's given you some sort of inspiration i hope so i was out me and my dad were out shopping for five hours uh was it no two days ago we we're out for five hours doing so much shopping because i haven't been back in a long time so there's so much stuff that i needed for the flat for my room toiletries cleaning products and then i decided to do christmas shopping as well and that's why it took so long but i hope Hope you found some inspiration if you like this video please give it a big thumbs up subscribe we are so close to 400 blah, 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 can i speak 400 subscribers i'd love to hit it by the end of the year i feel like that would be the icing on the cake for me so please 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 do if you haven't already comment as well say hi in the comments and i will reply back to you take care guys stay safe i'll see you guys in the next video